Retard, spaz, midget, handy capable. A lot of people come up to me and say, Oh, you sound kind of like you've got a cold. Can you speak up, please? And it's like, um, I've got a tracky. I've got a tube in my neck. Well, the office isn't accessible and we can't get you on set because of your wheelchair. I was told that there was no money for me to access or attend our shoots. Um, and I was the producer and the film we were making was about disability and how inaccessible the world is. There was a young lady who ran up to me and was like, oh, have you got a bow tie? If that, that looks like a bow tie in your neck. And I'm like, uh, no. Outside of the disability community, ableism is still a largely unfamiliar term. But assuredly is racism, sexism, ageism and homophobia. Ableism wrecks opportunities for disabled people. Put simply, the film industry doesn't work for many creative disabled people because of its endemic ableism. Ableism is rooted in the belief that disabled people require fixing and that typical abilities are more superior than all abilities. Um, how I define ableism is someone not really understanding the mechanisms of disability. Ableism is the idea that certain bodies are more valuable than others, simply because they move or look or function in the ways that we're used to seeing. And just because I'm indifferent, it doesn't make me any less of a person than someone who doesn't have a disability. I think that ultimately ableism is lazy and it's a lack of imagination in how organisations are set up, um, in how spaces are built, and even just in how we expect other people's bodies to show up in the world. Ableism also acts as a conditioning agent, setting fake boundaries that inhibits disabled people's ambitions and non-disabled people's expectations of what disabled people can do. Casting a non-disabled actor to play a disabled character is just one example of how ableism affects the film production industry and the industry and sector more broadly. It can include not hiring disabled people for fear of having to think about or spend money on access. It can include inaccessible film sets and workspaces generally. And it can include expecting disabled practitioners to work for free or for a reduced fee. When I've asked for help to get on film productions, people have gone, well, we don't have the budget for it. I've pushed myself through huge physical pain and exhaustion um, I've made myself ill uh, just to get the job done. You can feel like giving up, and I'm sure that many talented professionals have done so because of the pervasive message that we are not good enough and the feeling that we are not welcome. The best way to identify ableism is to replace a situation with race or gender. For example, if there were buildings that made it impossible for people of colour to enter, that would definitely be racist. This means doing it to disabled people is ableist. It's very likely you will be acting in an ableist manner if you cast non-disabled people in disabled roles, or if you create content about disability without co-production from disabled people. It's also likely you will be ableist if you think this film has nothing to do with you. How can we make a difference? Well, firstly, it's just accepting that people are different in all shapes and sizes. People in and outside of the disabled filmmaking community and in and outside all these marginalised groups need to make sure that education is taking place, but education is taking place in the right areas. There's so much we can do uh, to get rid of ableism. I think the big first step is breaking the taboo and just opening up the conversation. Let's talk about it. We need more disabled decision makers and people calling the shots. And we need to reframe the way that we see disability as a society. Disability affects all of us. We all have bodies um, and all of those bodies will change, I'm afraid. We can learn so much from workshops. We can learn so much by us being present and on TV. We have so much to offer and we have so much extra compassion and experience and a whole different way of seeing the world that non-disabled people don't have. 
We believe everyone has a role combating ableism in the sector by encouraging the use of the social model of disability, which recognises that it is society's duty to remove barriers. So make sure your workplace understands what ableism is, then identify and eliminate it from your working methods. We all hope you will commit to creating a more inclusive film industry on the other side of this pandemic with us, because ableism requires us all to take action, to press reset. You've got to press reset. 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 Press reset.